Good morning, everybody. Mark of Red Star Loft here. Getting full over here, that's for sure. I'm gonna push these guys out in a little bit, or half of them. And then tomorrow, that same half, I'm gonna take out for a toss. So it'll be the, their first toss a mile away from home, just on the edge of my subdivision. So I'll do that tomorrow. I'll probably record it as well. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. See how they're doing. These guys down here, all getting getting along real nice. Pretty birds. Got a black. This one's a uh, blue and white. A blue check. A few reds. A lot of reds that I, that I ended up getting. A lot. So yeah, these young ones are gonna start flying in the next few days, I'm sure. What else do I gotta show you? One of my Mona Lisa's here. Pretty guy. Gonna have white flights. Yeah, she had one uh, one chick last round, and then uh, one chick this round as well. So we'll see what the third round brings. Where are you going? You're too young to climb out. And then we've got these two guys here. Uh, it's time to ban these. There's one. Yep, I'm gonna ban these. I'm waiting for eggs. Waiting on eggs from them. I wonder if she laid one. No, not yet. Any day now, she should have her next round of eggs. And then my aggressive one up here she's got her third round right here I'm holding him softly so I'm not squishing him yeah these two always give me interesting colors black cock and a yellow hen and these two always give me interesting colors which I didn't expect red cock and white hen They've given me just about a little bit of everything, so. Yeah. Again, always got young. Feels and seems like there's no point in which there's no young birds that are hatching or have just hatched, so. Look at this guy. Pretty bird. Hey buddy, what are you doing? And yeah, as you can see, he's uh, some sort of a dark blue, almost black, but from what I'm seeing, dark blue, maybe black, I don't even know. But that's his dad red, and that's his mom white. So, interesting colors indeed. All right, guys. You can take off. So yeah, I'm gonna feed those in just a minute. As soon as I let these guys out. Which basically, I don't like having young birds at two different stages because now I have to let half of these out and the other half, not just yet, the other half needs to wait until maybe next week. So I have to literally go in there and as you'll see, I have to go in there and make sure the ones that are supposed to go out do go out and the ones that are not supposed to go out do not go out. So we'll see how it goes. 
so far it's worked out, but we'll see. Stay, actually as a matter of fact you can stay oh you might have noticed this uh, nest bowl up here Come on. yeah these two paired up and uh, as I've showed you guys this guy is uh, he's one of the he's the smallest bird I have he's a cock bird but he's tiny and my dad likes him my dad likes all things broken and crippled, it seems like. So I can't have you go. So he asked me to give them a nest bull. We gotta go back. The silver one wants to go out. And we can't have the silver one go out. Anyways, my dad likes all things broken, weird, and crippled. And he asked me to, uh, since he's paired up, to let him have a round and uh, whatever happens that he'll take him so he's like yeah sure I'll give him a nest bowl and they've already got an egg after a couple days go on you too see picking and choosing essentially one by one is not not ideal actually I'm not gonna make her go I'm gonna make you go Again, some I want to go, others I don't, so actually four more. My high flyers. Here we go. Come on. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Most of them do fly out, but then you always have those few that you have to chase out. But luckily the ones that are supposed to fly out, they know to fly out basically as soon as I come in and open the door. And as you can see, I don't have a single bird on the roof. They are all, I'm sure there's a couple in the trees, but as soon as I let them out, they all take to flight, so tomorrow will be their first little test. Like I said, I'm only going to the edge of the subdivision. I'm not taking them God knows where, but it'll be their first test. They still aren't grouping, so. I guess if they're not gonna group, they're just not gonna group, but not a big deal. I hope, I guess. I'm gonna feed these guys. And then, uh, yeah, I doubt the birds will be back by the time I go to work. Let me count them, actually, there should be, let me see. Oh, what are you doing? got away from me go let's count them up one two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i think one two three four ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen uh thirteen twelve yep so i've got sixteen birds out Yep, 16 birds out. And look at this guy. Look at this lazy guy. The last couple of tosses, he's been the first one back after a couple minutes, so... I'm not gonna let you in. You're gonna need to go around a little bit longer than that. 
anyways, instead of jumping around like a maniac, let's give these guys some food. Yeah, I feel like I've been all over the place with this video. <laughs> but, there we go. real happy with the way the birds are doing just with their health in general and with the young and I haven't had a single problem with a single one of the young this year not one the birds are eating great they seem to be real healthy they seem to be real energetic and yeah just overall real happy with the way that they're doing so I feel like I should have let these guys out too. And they're starting to crowd up there. Hmm. Nah, not this time. Not this time around. Come on, guys. Where are you? A couple of them up there. Yeah, I had to get a second feeder. Over in this side, just because this little one, at the very max, can hold, can feed 20 birds. So, uh, yeah, actually, this one here I built for my father-in-law. And uh, he built some for himself as well, and then, uh, yeah, I just went over there and grabbed this one. So... Take a look at these guys. I'll go show you my brand new Mona Lisa's. And we'll call it a day. By brand new, I mean the brand new chicks. Ah. And there he goes now. Lazy, lazy bird. You can see a couple of them up there. But I feel like they're doing a really good job of, is it called ranging, where they fly far, because within, within five minutes of letting 20 birds out, I see them flying the first couple of minutes and then most of them disappear. I cannot see them anywhere around. I do see a couple. Let's see these guys. Ever since I moved him here, this guy's been much more tame than he has been before. He used to be scared shitless of me. Still scared of me, but much less than he used to be. Plus, I wasn't really that nice to him. I never beat him or abused him, but when he was over there pecking on those chicks, I would constantly grab him and lock him up and grab him and put him here, put him there, but... This is an excellent bird. Oh, no. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with you. I'm not gonna mess with you, sorry. Come on. Come on. He's a fast bird as well. See his band number? Or just his band in general. It's the Gannis family loft. It's his other band as well. But yeah, this is by far. I know I've said it before, but I just love looking at this guy because he's such a powerhouse of a bird. And these are the, uh, these are their young. I'm not gonna mess with them, I'll just let them be. That's the mom. And you can see the two young in there, so. Uh, this video is already running super long. Longer than I usually do. I try to keep my stuff 
10 minutes or less, but I guess when you're doing multiple things, it's a little difficult to. Anyways, like right now, I don't see a single bird above head. Like I said, I know there's a couple of them that are probably in the trees, but again, it's no more than a couple. But there's one coming. There's one there, and there's one in the tree up there. And, uh, oh, there's, damn, they're high up. Yeah, an occasional one pops through. I don't know if you can see that white one. That's a high flyer. Those guys will be gone for hours. But, yeah. Overall, I'm real happy with them. I gotta go ban those young guys and uh, change their water and give them some garlic juice. I think I showed you guys. I don't know if I did, but this stuff is... It's about the only thing that I get from Jed's. But this stuff is super good and smells like you would not believe but that's that yeah let's hope for no hawks i hope you guys have a good weekend if i take them on a toss tomorrow i'll uh, probably film that as well and show it to you so have a good one sorry the video ran long but sometimes it gets out of hand i'll talk to you guys later